What is going on Star Wars fans and today we have a game news video for Star Wars Battlefront made by EA so if you guys haven't already seen it they released a trailer yesterday basically showing all new in-game footage of the game and how amazing it looks so let's take a quick look at that really quick we're not going to watch the whole thing but we'll just show a glimpse of it so it's made by Electronic Arcs they're going to they're show their name in the beginning it's a dice game as well which makes it really really nice um, and this is all in-game footage. You guys might not think of that in the beginning, but it's just so gorgeous that it just doesn't even look like a video game anymore. And everything looks really awesome. What I think they did, actually, is they changed it. And if you guys have played Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron on the PSP, uh, it was exclusively for that. Um, there was, like, a game mode where, like, you can go into space, come back to the ground... Or, and then like kind of that kind of aspect to the game so you know there would be battles in this in, in space battles on land you know that kind of thing and I think that's a really cool aspect that they integrated into it and I think they might be integrating it back into this one because you know they have cool shields they have vehicles but they also have counter vehicles such as the jetpack with the rocket launcher you know so it's gonna be like kind of back and forth battle and I think that's gonna be a really awesome thing that they added and it's just gonna be complete chaos and that's gonna make it a really fun game because we've never seen this before in any of um, EA's games or any Battlefront games or any Star Wars games really except for the ones that were made on the PSP but this one was made by EA and DICE and I feel like they're gonna do a great job with it they might even add a couple of battle uh, battlefield aspects to it you know with uh, cool things like that so let's see how good they do with it so this is basically the trailer so we're just basically gonna exit out of the trailer quick so you guys got a little gist of what the game might look like in the near future so it is going to be available on November 17th, 2015 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Origin for PC. So the Origin for PC makes me a little bit sad because I'm not a humongous fan of Origin, but I am starting to like them more and more as they get to play with them more. But I am a big Steam user, so it would have been nice if it was made for Steam, but we all know EA is Origin, so they were going to use their own, not Steam. But hopefully in the future they'll get over that and maybe allow it to be for Steam. Okay, so this is a celebration right here. This is a whole bunch of news they have on their website. But there's also a couple reasons, five reasons to play. The most immersive game. So, you know, ground-based combat on a galactic scale. So they're going to have ground-based combat, but I think they might do space combat as well and air combat, which would be really, really cool. Um, you can play as iconic Star Wars characters. You can engage in epic Star Wars dogfights for Jedi and Padawans alike. It's just like things are just so awesome in the game that like I never thought would be in it and it just looks awesome. So now let's get into the pre-orders of the games. So you can pre-order the Star Wars Battlefront Deluxe Edition, which is I'm gonna get because when you're a Star Wars nerd like me, why not go the extra mile? So you can only pre-order it on Origin and PS4 at the moment. You cannot pre-order it on Xbox One so it's $59 for the standard edition and then for the deluxe edition it's another $10 and you get five in-game items so you get a DL-44 blaster as made famous by Han Solo, an ion grenade, an ion torpedo, and an ion shock exclusive emote and you also get a victory exclusive emote so I'm assuming those are like kind of emoticons kind of things where like in-game you can use them or when you die or it's a call sign or an emblem or something cool like that um, but, yeah, I, I would say going for the $10 more, you get a couple cool in-game things, you know. I want to get the in-game things. I've been waiting so long for this game. You know, I don't want to miss out on anything. Um, so, I wonder if they're going to do, you know, add-on DLCs and they're going to charge, like, $10 for, like, five extra maps. I really hope they don't do that, but I know it is EA and DICE, and they've done that with previous games. So, we're going to see how it really works out in the future. But for right now, we still have a decent while until the game is released. So, thank you guys for watching that video. Don't forget to check out other videos on my channel. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below so I know to make some more awesome game news videos for you guys. And do not forget to subscribe to get the latest updates on all my videos. Thank you, guys.